to Vinny's. Welcome to Vinny's Talk. Welcome, you guys, to Vinny's Talk, man. It's your boy, Vinny D, the young wolf, man. Back up on the podcast again. Doing a nighttime podcast, right? Back up on the podcast in the car, in the car. Hopefully, you guys, hit that like button as you coming in. You know what I'm saying? It's Vinny's Talk, right? And remember one thing. I'm Batman. Anyways, guys, welcome to Vinny's Talk. Uh, if you guys could check out all my podcasts, hit that like button, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, talking about one year since Kylie Rodney. Rest in peace. Justice for Kylie Rodney. Um, you guys know I covered a lot of different things on my podcast. But today, we're going to be talking about Kylie Rodney in one year. In the Truckee, California. You know what I'm saying? In the Truckee way. They ruled her death accidental by drowning. They found her at Prosser, you know, saying a family campground. And you guys know that a lot of suspicion, a lot of different, you know, I'm saying avenues. Um, The police went down. The police went, you know, I'm saying they said that the police searched Prosser, you know, I'm saying they used all their tools, everything that they could. But in reality, I really believe that, you know, I'm saying there wasn't the right amount of tools I felt like they did could use. And did the police actually do their job? Once again, guys, thank you guys for joining Vinny's Talk. You guys are tuned in here. And uh, these are just uh, my opinions and uh, my thoughts on what I believe to be, you know, they're just my opinions, right? Everybody deserves that to have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? So these are just my opinions and this is just for educational purposes. Welcome to Vinny's Talk. We're talking about Kylie Rodney, man. Rest in peace. Like I said, man, you know, she, you know, she went out there to have a good time. Because I'm concerned if I had real friends, you know what I'm saying? Um, They would look out for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm drinking. I'm having one, not one, not two, three, four, five cocktails. You know what I'm saying? And one thing leads to another. You're intoxicated. You're buzzed. You're near the water. You're near people you really don't know like i said samantha was saying all this stuff saying she was going off in the distance and doing that and doing this with each other oh i need a ride home but guess what you're just gonna let your friend like find someone else to get a ride with when you're supposed to be that friend to actually you know what i'm saying take her home and make sure she gets home safe and i don't care what anybody has to say i don't care if you get me home and put my ass in the yard in the front yard you know that if you get home safe and that friend got you home safe, that's a real friend as far as I'm concerned. Now, that wasn't the case in this in this case with Kylie Roddy. And also, everything that the police had said, you know what I'm saying? This shit doesn't add up. And then you have these people saying, oh, well, this is what happened. This is what we found out in the, toxo- the, the toxology reports. I'm sorry, I can't talk pronounced properly, but uh, the toxicology and... and how she really, they didn't find to be that she was impaired. They found low levels of of alcohol and THC and all this stuff. But um, to be honest with you, I really don't feel like she was that intoxicated. If she said she was intoxicated to the point where she, whatever the case may be, the fact that her friend wasn't there, even if she had some in her system, didn't see, it didn't seem like she put herself into that water, especially by them finding her all the way in the back you know what i'm saying not the back seat but the back back and i still can't get over the fact that you know what i'm saying that this case was just uh one of them cases where you're just shaking your head to um and i have quite a few videos on the kylie rodney case and the trucky way as far as i'm concerned um them tunnels man them trucky tunnels and donner pass how they were haunted and in in different people and different things years and years ago about living and, and, and people that have passed away down there. Man, y'all go ahead and check that out too, man. Donner Pass and the haunted tunnels, man, the haunted tunnels. And what it meant for people of Truckee and people of California to live in that area and how people seem to be on the hush-hush about what had happened to Kylie Rodney. You know what I'm saying? With all these kids coming together, you would think that someone would have talked. But as far as I'm concerned, people weren't really talking, but 
you know, we have to raise awareness and keep Kylie's name, you know, at the forefront and keep, you know what I'm saying, trying to keep this justice alive for her and fighting for justice to see actually what went the, the real truth. Because in my own opinion, in my heart, I really do believe that there's some foul shit that went down that day. Hey, you could point the finger and say, well, this is not what happened. This is what the report says. But, you know, one year since she's been passed and uh, you guys are live and direct, man, with Vinny's talk. And we're talking about Miss Kylie Rodney, man. So uh, my prayers go to Kylie's family first and foremost, you know, um, you know, but there needs to be justice for her, for her family and justice for this case. You know, it just seems like it's never ending. And then, you know, you know, these people that were at the party and, you know, you know, they really could have looked out, man. I just don't see how she could drive her car down there into the water in the water and that water is so dark at night driving through these, 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 these forests and deep in the pines when you're in Cali, like the Truckee, um, you know, it's just, it's so dark. You can't see. And the fact that, there's, that they were saying that she was so intoxicated that she didn't see or she could have put herself there, accidental drowning. I just I just don't see it. The, the amount of people that were in that place at that time, there wasn't enough, you know, people there to supervise these kids. There were so many kids and fights were going on. And, you know, Samantha, her best friend, supposedly wasn't acting right. She wasn't, to be honest with you, she wasn't acting like a friend, to be honest with you guys, if you guys want me to be honest with you. Uh, but that's just my opinion, my own opinion about the case. Um, but like I said, man, the, the whole thing about it is that there still needs to be some type of justice. Oh, justice for all, right? Justice for all, but like justice for Kylie, man, because I feel like this case is still, to me, in my own opinion, is unsolved, man. Like, you you can't tell me you find somebody in the back of the hatch of the vehicle, and you are gonna tell me it was a it was a death by accidental drowning. I just don't believe it, y'all. I just don't believe it. You know, if you guys are just tuning in, man, you guys are tuning into Vinny's Talk, man, the podcast. Welcome, you guys. Um, you know, I've been trying to come on the podcast more and more as we as the days go on. We're gonna bring you guys more true crime. And talk more about this Kylie Rodney case. But it's one year since. One year since Miss Kylie Rodney. Has you know when she was found. You know she was deceased. Um, at Prosser man. You know what I'm saying. Into that into that water. That deep water. Man you got to think about it man. There was a lot of kids out there man. A lot of people that didn't really say nothing. That could have said something. Leading up to that moment leading up to what was going on and you got these trail cams at night I'm not, I'm not so bought on the trail cams guys i don't know what you guys feel about the cameras and all that other stuff that we they were saying oh this is when she went in oh this is what when when maybe when her car went in right the police didn't really spend amount of time when adventures with the purpose was out there and they found her just like that the amount of tools the amount of this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, uh, I have a hard time with that. And then, like, in a kind of a way, the Truckee, California, hey, eh? right? The Popo had, they had it all in their face, man. They had it all right there, and they didn't take the initiative to, I think they just, there was some, some funny shit going on, man. Some funny shit going on, y'all. And, um, you know, it's one year since anniversary, so we want to remember Miss Kylie Rodney, man, and I want to... Like I said, guys, I just wanted to bring you guys this podcast and uh, talk a little bit about Kylie. So, like I said, man, this 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 case is really... was a really crazy case. And a lot of people are like, yeah, things could have been done... Things could have been done a lot different into this case. So... I'm just not buying that. Oh, accidental by drowning. There's more to this, right? Um, all those people that were down there, they could have been there and helped her, you know, deep down in Prosser. When you talk about Truckee, when you talk about these deep woods, um, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. 
So, I mean, yeah, the police were hard at work, but were they really working? And were they putting something behind where we couldn't really see? Because I felt like, man, you know what? These people, they're not really telling us what the hell is the truth. You know, especially in those reports that we were reading. The reports that came out about Miss Kylie Rodney's death. Um, but like I said, man, this is justice for Kylie. And I want to make a quick video about it. Because it's one year since the passing of Miss Kylie. So we want to remember her and keep her name alive justice for her man we got more videos coming i want to thank you guys for joining me in these uh four few minutes of talking <clears throat> i'm gonna make a little time to come on here and talk but anyways thank you guys for joining until the next time you guys know what to do man and always remember i'm batman peace out guys